हेलो गाइस आई एम सलोनी एंड वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड अ गुड डिस्कशन ऑन हाउ टू फाइंड द डुप्लीकेट रोज इन अ टेबल एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू डिलीट दैट डुप्लीकेट रोज और रिकॉर्ड इन अ टेबल सो वी कैन डिलीट डुप्लीकेट रिकॉर्ड इन द फॉलोइंग वेज यूजिंग ग्रुप बाय एंड हैविंग क्लॉज यूजिंग सेल्फ ज्वाइन यूजिंग कॉमन टेबल एक्सप्रेशन और सी टी ई एंड बाई यूजिंग रैंक फंक्शन बट इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल ओनली सी दिस टू वेज दैट इज बाई यूजिंग ग्रुप बाय एंड हैविंग क्लॉज एंड बाई यूजिंग सेल्फ ज्वाइन सो हियर इज द इम्प्लॉय इन्फो टेबल दैट वी विल यूज इन द कम्प्लीट वीडियो एंड इट हैज फोर कॉलम्स आई डी नेम ई मेल एंड डिपार्टमेंट एंड हियर यू कैन सी वी हैव टू डुप्लीकेट रिकॉर्ड्स दैट इज फॉर रोहित एंड फॉर संकेत and if you guys remember in the last video we found the duplicate records according to single and multiple column but in today's video we will only use single column that is email to find the duplicate record and to delete them suppose if you want to use multiple column so you can also do that and it is completely depend on your requirement so first we will delete the duplicate records by using group by and having clause So this is the query we will use to delete duplicate records. I know it's bit complex but don't worry you will understand the complete query in the next few minutes. So as you can see here we have used two inner queries but on some website or in some video you will see this query something like this which has only one inner query. But in my SQL when we execute this query it will give us a error. that we can't specify the target table employee info for update in from clause so as you can see we are deleting the data from employee info table and at the same time we are fetching the data from the same table that's why we are getting this error so to resolve this error what we can do is we will use a temporary name tem to hold the result of the innermost query Now let's understand the innermost query. That is, select a star, comma, count a star as duplicate. Here, duplicate is the temporary name to hold the result of count a star. And then we will write from employee info group by email, having duplicate greater than one. So when we execute the query up to group by email, we will get this output. You can see. the value for rohit and sanket in duplicate column is 2 that means these are duplicate records so now we only want those record whose duplicate column value is greater than 1 that's why we will write having duplicate greater than 1 so after the execution of this innermost query you will get this output so the output contains only those record which has duplicate values now according to our main query the result of this innermost query will get stored in the temp which is temporary name to hold the result now the inner query which is select id from the result of the innermost query which is already stored in temp so this inner query will give us the id from the temp table now you can assume it something like select id from tem so when we execute the inner query we will get this output we will get the ids of duplicate records so now we only need to delete the record which has this ids so we will write delete from employee info where id in the result of the inner query which are 2 and 5 So when we execute the complete query the record with id 2 and 5 will get delete and you can also check the final table here the duplicate records are no more exist and we have only one one record for rohit and sanket and there is no record with id 2 and 5 now in next approach we will delete the duplicate records using self join so in self join we compare a table with itself that's why here we are comparing employee info table with itself so that we can find the duplicate records and we can delete them so we will write delete e1 here e1 is the temporary name for the employee info table 
So delete E1 from employee info E1, comma employee info E2. So this is the self join to compare the same table. Now we will specify the condition that which are the duplicate records we want to delete. So we want to delete those records which has same email ID or you can also add more column according to your requirement. Something like this. In this query we are comparing the email as well as the name of the employee. But the last condition is very important which is e1.id should be greater than e2.id. Here we are writing this condition because we only want to delete any one record from the duplicates, not both the record. And also this condition will delete record with comparatively greater ID. For example, we have duplicate record for Rohit with ID 2 and 7. So this condition will delete Rohit with ID 7 because 7 is greater than 2. And when this both condition of where clause will become true, then that particular record will get delete. And if it is necessary that both the condition must be true because we are using AND operator. So in our case, we have duplicate records for Rohit and Sanket. So when we execute the query, Rohit with ID 7 and Sanket with ID 8 will get delete. So after the execution, we will get this output, which says two rows affected. Now let's check the final table. So you can see there is no record with ID 7 and 8. And if you want to delete only those duplicate record which has comparatively smaller ID, then you just need to change this greater than operator to less than operator. Then you are good to go. And when you will execute this query, it will delete the duplicate record which has comparatively smaller ID. So the Rohit with ID 2 and Sanket with ID 5 will get delete. So let's execute the query. Okay, it says two rows are affected. Now let's see the final table. So you can see there is no record with ID 2 and 5. And suppose you want to delete both the rows for duplicate record. For example, in our case, if we want to delete both the record for Rohit and Sanket, so you only need to change this operator to not equal to operator. So let's execute the query. So it says 4 records affected or 4 rows affected. Now let's check the employee info table. So you can see there is no record for Rohit and Sanket. So guys, that's all about today's video. And if you have any doubts, so please let me know in the comment box. And I hope you will like this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching.